Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you what is in my travel makeup bag. As a pretty much full-time traveler, traveling carry-on only, going all over the world from piping hot to freezing cold destinations. Let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hey, I'm Alex. I'm a digital nomad splitting my time between LA, Italy, Mexico, and other amazing parts of the world. I'm a travel, fashion, beauty girly, and I love posting videos. I post a lot of thrifting content on this channel, but I also love bringing you along on my adventures, showing you how I style those items all around the world. I've done a few like what's in my travel bag, what's in my carry-on videos that you all seem to like. And so I wanted to show you what I pack with me makeup wise, because if there's one thing I'm not, your girl is not a minimalist. I try, but <laughs> it's just not in my DNA. I like to have my items, my products that make me feel like me so that no matter where I am in the world, I'm comfortable, I'm feeling my best and makeup is part of that. I would describe my skin as kind of a combo oily skin type. That's what the products that I'm going to show you today are geared for. I'm also like a diehard drugstore girly. I grew up on drugstore makeup and old Dabbitt's die hard. Let's get into it. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in following along on my adventures, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me bring more videos to you all. Also, if you want to follow me more closely and see behind the scenes of what it's like to be a bi-continental digital nomad, be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I post daily on those channels, just bringing you behind the scenes into my life, sharing tips on manifestation, building my dream life, self-help books, wellness, all that fun stuff. So I would love to connect with you there. All right, so starting with this makeup bag, the bag was actually a very random purchase. My makeup bag was falling apart around the holidays and I was at TJ Maxx doing some Christmas shopping and I was in the checkout line and I saw this and I thought it was super cute. I love the pattern and I decided to pick it up. So this is from a brand called Willow Well. And yeah, it's slightly, I mean, I actually wouldn't even call this padded. It's pretty thin, which I like. It's very spacious and it has this main compartment with a few pockets on the sides, as well as a pocket on the front and a pocket on the back. It has a double zipper. And then this little like latch is just decorative. This doesn't actually clip anywhere, <laughs> but it does have a handle here for easy carrying. So yep, really liking this bag. Nothing super special, but I do like that it, because it's spacious, I like to keep it probably, I don't know, 20% empty and it packs pretty flat. So starting off with brushes, my brushes are not clean y'all. This is real life. I just did my makeup, so nothing is clean, but I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five brushes. These are all from very random places, but I have a foundation brush. I have a powder brush. This is a bronzer brush. And then I have two eyeshadow brushes. So yeah, they're all from very random places. I've got a Morphe brush. I've got a Bare Essentials brush. I've got a few from the Fuller Brush Company, more Morphe. So I'm not super married to any makeup brushes, to be honest. I did recently get sent this beauty sponge, which I really love. This is from a brand called Juve. I've tried makeup sponges before and wasn't for me. This one I really love. It just applies my makeup really flawlessly. It's antimicrobial, so it's not gonna break me out. Really liking this. I usually use like the angled part under my eyes and then I use the bottom here to blend out my contour. So really loving this. Then moving on into concealers. I have two types of concealer with me. I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser that I use on my under eyes. This is a super popular concealer. I have been struggling to shade match right now because I do like to have my under eye be slightly lighter than my face makeup, but not like way lighter. I know some women go like really extreme with the under eye in terms of lightness. I don't love that look. So I've been like buying tons of these to try and find the right shade for me. Right now I'm using 140. This works for me when I'm tan. When I'm not tan, I need something a little bit lighter. 
which I haven't found the right shade yet, but love the formulation. It goes on very smoothly and it doesn't crease, which I absolutely love. And then for like covering up spots, blemishes, things like that, I am a big fan of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now, I absolutely love the formula and the coverage of this. I don't love the applicator, the little brush. It's just not for me and like, I can never tell how much I'm really squeezing out. I feel like I squeeze a little bit, a little bit, and then like, boom, it just pops out. So I wish it was a different applicator, but I think for the price, you cannot beat this quality. Like it is very quality. It's very long lasting. They have a ton of different shades, which is important to me as a mixed girl who has to buy a lot of shades. I love how inclusive this line is. So very happy with these. The one thing that annoys the hell out of me is that they print the shades on a sticker and the sticker always comes off. Like this one hasn't come off yet. This is medium beige. Then I have one more, I have a shade darker. I don't know what shade this is. I don't know. And when it, when I go, when the time comes to repurchase this, I'm going to be really upset because <laughs> I don't know what shade this is. Yeah. I lied. I have one more face product two more face products. So uh, like I said, I have oily skin and so I'm always carrying products that are gonna help me mattify. And this is my holy grail mattifying powder. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Powder. It's a translucent powder. It has like this little, you have like the main tub of powder and then you have this section up top where you can sift out just a little bit at a time. I usually just tip a little bit into the lid and then go in with my powder brush. Boom, boom, boom. That works really well. I notice a big difference. If I don't use this powder, my makeup is a lot less likely to stay in place. So really great powder. Then I always like to finish my look with a setting spray, a mattifying setting spray. I've used several in the past. Obviously the Urban Decay one people swear by. And I've tried that, I've used it, I've really enjoyed it. Again, I always like to look for drugstore products. I was using the Flower Setting Spray, the one with the purple top, which I liked. It does work really well. I just personally could not stand the smell. I'm not like a flower scent gal. I don't use flower scented perfumes. I'm just... I can't really deal with that scent. So I ultimately decided to reach for something else. I did a little bit of research and picked up the Milani Make It Last Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I've been really liking this. I don't think it has a scent, does it? Oh, it does a little bit, but I don't mind this scent. <laughs> It's more like cologne perfume scented and yeah, does its job, keeps my makeup in place. So I will do this after I use powder. All right, and then just a few more items. So that's the bulk of my makeup, like the face layer, I guess. I only travel with one makeup palette right now. I don't do a ton of crazy eye looks, to be honest. And I found this at the thrift store. It looked interesting. It had the shades that I wanted, so I just, Bought it on a whim. This is the LA Girl Keep It Playful Eye Palette in Playmate. And I have to say, this really impressed me. I've used pretty much the same color here. This what, this shade doesn't have the individual shades, but I use this kind of burnt orange color the most. I absolutely love it. It looks beautiful if you have brown eyes. It really makes your eye color pop. And especially my brown girls with the tan skin, it's just, it's doing the most. It's so beautiful. And on special occasions, I've layered on some of these more glittery colors. And I have to say the payoff is really, really, really good. I think in my most recent Mexico vlog, when we were there for Thanksgiving, I think I used this color or maybe that one. I don't remember. And <laughs> even in that vlog, I was like, wow, the payoff is really amazing. So this is all I need right now. In fact, it's probably more than I need because again, I don't use too much. I'm usually contouring my lids with the bronzer and then coming in with some color and maybe occasionally some glittery shadows, but that's it. I like that it's compact. I like that it's no frills, just does the job. For eyeliner, this is my holy grail and you can see how much 
just how much I love it. This is the Wet n Wild, oh my gosh, what is this called? The Wet n Wild Color Stay Eyeliner. This is in the color 003A Simmer Brown. Holy grail product right here. I used to swear by liquid eyeliners in college. That's all I would wear. And honestly, they would just like run out really fast for me. They would dry up and this stick, it's, it's huge. Like when you buy it, it's originally like this long. This baby lasts me forever. This is the second one I've gone through. Honestly, they last me like many, many months. They're very, very good quality. I love this shade of brown. In college, I transitioned away from black eyeliner to brown eyeliner. And it's really, I just, I find it to be more flattering, more natural looking. So this color is amazing. It glides on, the formula is fantastic. And I just make sure to travel with my trusty makeup, what do you call this? Sharpener. <laughs> I just travel with my makeup sharpener and yeah, I do have to sharpen it like every two or three uses, but that's not a problem for me. Less waste, less plastic, love it. Then moving on into lip products. Lip products, I tend to change season to season. I was on the hunt for some Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk dupes that has been all the rage everywhere. And I've never actually purchased Pillow Talk to be honest, but I did a lot of research on dupes. I own two dupes right now. This is my favorite one so far. This is the Maybelline Colorstay Ink Crayon in the color Lead the Way. And I really like it. The only difference I'll note which again, I don't own Pillow Talk, so I can't actually say for certain, but Pillow Talk seems like more of a satin finish. This is more of a matte finish. I do wish it was a little less matte, but I'll survive. <laughs> yeah, I really love this color. I will say I liked it a little bit more a few weeks ago before I got my tan. Now it's looking like very bright and pale in comparison, but I still really like it. I might actually try a shade darker, but I do really love this. And since it's really matte, I've been on days when I want more of a glossy finish, I've been using my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. This is in the shade You're Just Jelly. These were all the rage on TikTok and beyond. They're a dupe for the Dior Lip Oil. I did get super lucky and I picked up three shades in this. So I have the My Straw Booty, which everyone says, which is the true Dior Lip Oil dupe. I personally though liked this color on me a little bit more. It's a little bit darker. The My Straw Booty is like a very bright red, like a strawberry red. But anyway, I like this one. That's the lip combo I'm wearing today, these two. And yeah. All right, so that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this from me, following along on my adventures around the world and all the travel, beauty, fashion girly things that I get up to, please hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me bring more videos to you all each and every week. Please leave me a comment and let me know what kinds of videos you wanna see from me next summer's around the corner travel season's here so you're going to be seeing a lot of that content coming up from me and i post new videos every single wednesday so until next week bye